We in the back now, you know, my collection is modest, you know. This is a Poo Bah special right here. This is from the Grand Man. One of my favorite joints though, Strike Group, that's, a, that's always a, a, a pleasure. Well, I first did it remind me of the Love Boat, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Not only do I do it head to toe, but I go, like, I shop by the collections. Hold on, one of my favorite pieces right here, this Polo Crest sweatshirt. It's kind of hectic, because, like, the vintage thing is kind of the thing to do now, so it's really hard to catch, like, gems anymore, you know what I'm saying? But they're still out there, you feel me? This one is awesome. I just realized how geeky this is. This extremely obscure poncho, which is amazing. This is like what gets me excited now. He has an equestrian look. I like his colors and he's cool. He's all right. This right here is the RL2000 with the matching hat. And he pushing the culture forward. It's becoming worldwide. This is kind of like the sailing gear, and I would do that on the water. It's just beautiful. The detail is just amazing. It makes me wish I could sew so I could make another one myself. It's timeless, like, and it's, it's bigger than hip hop. As a sixth grader, I would just call them out right there. I'm like, dude, that's clearly f bootleg. Now, I, as an adult, I collect a lot of that and it's very nostalgic to me. And the horse is so just rudimentary, crude, crazy piece. I love the person's name sewn in on there. You know, he didn't want to lose this at camp or in the laundromat. So this is a, a denim supply vest. It has the flag on it, RLX vest. This is another vintage RLX. I just think this stuff, a lot of this stuff is weird. I like the color coordination on the shirt. I like the anorak type of hoodie, you know what I'm saying? With the red rim over the hoodie. I like the polo sport right here in the zip area. This is like one of my favorites. Real simple, beige, khaki. Right here, this is the casino button down. Ended up uh, having it, letting it go, having to buy it back years later for about eight times more than what it retailed for. Definitely one of my biggest regrets. Happy to have it back in my possession. The reason why I love this coat is because Ralph doesn't make the rugby brand anymore. I never see anybody with this coat. It looks pretty dope on the inside, too. I feel like a Harry Potter character when I wear this coat. This is like one of those pieces like, oh yeah, I need to have this in my collection because it just looks like some outdoors sportsman back in the day. Suede patch in the back. These are the Yorkshire pants. These were the last trousers from this collection that I got. By the time I was ready to get them, they were completely sold out. This was actually on a mannequin in my size. Everybody tries to emulate a Ralph Lauren bear. You know why? Because we did it first. The bear became a hot commodity, you know what I mean? This is an actual Boy Scout uniform for Polo. I created this myself. And then another puzzle piece. They call this the front page. Pokemon Low, gotta catch them all. Oh, this is the grail. This is, another... this is straight design. You can never get rid of something like this. Yeah. It's like every element of hip hop is all included into this one lifestyle. Through the fashion, we got a chance to explore. We decided to make our own necklaces to actually match the clothes that we wear. The suicide ski necklace. This is the lifeguard chain, chain master shirt. And then this is the famous crest. 